Hey everybody, this is Matthew, and this video tutorial is going to be using Trello to manage our pre-listing action items. So here's the deal. You got an appointment, and it's three or four days out from now, and there's a ton of things that need to be done to get that appointment done and done well. Having a checklist, especially a digital checklist that's interactive, is a great way to keep you on track. And one of the things that we have found over and over again with agents, or any professional for that matter, is that when doing a presentation or an appointment or an interview, being prepared helps to set your mind at ease and give you time to focus and do well on that appointment. Running out at three minutes before the meeting with your arms full of stuff that you hope will get you through the appointment and not really being prepared is A, a horrible business practice, B, shortening your lifespan, and C, not going to let you give your best at that meeting or that presentation. No matter how great you are at collecting yourself and centering yourself, taking a deep breath and walking in, there is still part of you that is not going to be prepared or comfortable or at your best in front of your clients. And for a lot of these instances, we're only going to get one chance to do this listing presentation and get it right before they choose someone else. So with that in mind, let's talk about a few things. One, you should know what you're going to do to get ready for your meeting, what you're comfortable with, what your workflow is. And then two, go set up a free Trello account. Now, I've done other video uh, tutorials on Trello, so this isn't kind of a deep dive as much as just using it for the pre-listing action items. And so I've already set one up, and I went ahead and created this pre-listing action item uh, template, or, well, the board. And over here, I have a few things. I have set the appointment date with the clients, because that's presumably the beginning of this, com this process. You and I spoke to the seller. Seller says, great, I'll see you on next Friday. And we now have a date, a time, and a location to meet. And that's going to really start the time frame for everything else. We're then going to start with our pre-listing email. And so uh, I've talked about this in a lot of training, but um, whether you're using Outlook or you're using uh, Google or you're saving it in some tool, um, make sure you have an email already done that you can tweak as you go along and add and delete things to have ready to send to the client. If I'm using Gmail, I like using um, Boomerang. So you'll need to go get the Boomerang uh, add-on for, um, for Gmail. You can see you have a little Boomerang here when you add it on. And I'm going to go down to these three um, dots here, these upside-down ellipses. Click on that, go to Can Response, and I have previously saved my seller pre-listing email. So I'm just going to click on that. That's going to autofill that email in with where I want them to go and some directions for them, some testimonials, some apps they can download, some websites they can check me out and things I'm doing. And I'm just going to go here and say, um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. All right. And then I'm going to just have their address in here and the time and the date of the meeting and then hit send. And I'm all done with that. And then I'm going to come over here. Um, and so that's my pre-listing email. And then I've got some research to do. I want to Google the home to make sure that there's not been any prior problems with it. It's not been in the news for something bad, that it doesn't have other marketing efforts out there. Your clients tried a FISBO one time and it's still lingering on Google. Google the seller to make sure they're not trying to scam me or they don't have any deep, dark secrets. Uh, I'm going to look at tax records to make sure the people I'm talking to are actually people I should be talking to. There are the owners and decision makers. Check RPR for that house. It'll give you a tremendous amount of history. RPR will tell you whether they've missed mortgage payments, who their current lender is, what they owe on it, uh, what, when they got the loan, um, are there any other problems with the house, previous listings, and it'll tell you what that um, um, the AVM is. It'll tell you what the realtor estimated value of the property is, and some other tidbits about the market and statistics, things you need to know about that house to make you look sharp and also take you down the path of whether you should even take this listing. For a couple of banker agents, we're going to check out CBX um, and get a predictive model so we know what kind of buyers we're dealing with and using that uh, big data um, or that predictive model analytics that we have access to to know how we present our pitch to the sellers as to what kind of buyer we're going to have. And of course, we can check prior MLS listings to see is it currently listed, was it listed, by who, what was the price, how long, all that good stuff. You should have a, a pre-listing packet already ready, whether a digital or a printable uh, or hand-held uh, version, um, analog version, that you can either hand-deliver to them or mail out if you have time and if they're at another location. Those pre-listing packets are really important, and we'll do other training and tutorials about what should be in those at a later time. 
We're going to make sure we call to confirm the appointment about a day beforehand, make sure we put them in a drip campaign designed for new sellers leading up to the uh, appointment and then afterwards until they sign the listing agreement. Um, you can do that in Zap if you have a Zap access, if you're, again, a Coldwell Banker agent. Uh, if they're in Relo, we can uh, notify Relo that we have the appointment because that's the critical part and then follow up, uh, create a listing presentation packet, and then the Cloud CMA presentation all gets done. So if I look and go, okay, what else do I need to put on here? Well, I want to send a uh, follow up with handwritten note. And you can see that I just went ahead and add, uh, added a card. Now, each one of these cards has more data, more things that you can do with it. So if you're lucky enough, we're going to just start with the basics. I've created four lists here, and I can always go to add another list. I have not applicable, completed, or in process. So if it's not applicable, so let's say this isn't a relocation client, I can just click and drag this over, drop it under an applicable, and I know it's done. If it's in process, so for example, take photo of primary listing, uh, subject property rather, I'm add that in there and go, that's a higher priority. I really want to do that as soon as possible. So I'm going to add that up there because that's kind of my order of things. You can see I just dragged and dropped where it was. And then I can go ahead and um, move the take photo to in process because I've scheduled I'm going over there today after work or whatever. I can put it there. So all these boards have action items or, or, or action items. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. I have set up my template. My This is what I want to see happen. And I'm going to go over here back to the home page of the boards. When I schedule down, I've created a group of boards called templates, and there's my pre-listing action item. So when I want to create a new one, and I've got that appointment set, I'm going to go to create new board and take that back. I'm going to go down to the template I have over here to show menu, go to more, and then, whoops, and then I'm going to copy the board. And it's going to say, what do you want to call this? Well, this is my new listing at 123 Main Street. I want to call 123 Main Street. I want that to go under client boards in that section. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. All right. And so now I've got a new board. It left the original one intact. So whatever I do this doesn't change the original template that I had. And I can see there's my new address. I'm going to invite my partner here um, because she's got some things to do. I'll have some things to do. And we're going to say she does the creative stuff, and she's super good at that. So we're going to tell uh, her that this board has been created and dragging and dropping her here. Now she's going to get a message, an email, or a text, uh, and Angel's going to know, okay, Matthew set the appointment, and here's all the information I need because I've been notified that this is my part of it. And then Matthew will do the boring stuff and the grunt stuff and start Googling and researching the client. And so then these get assigned. Now, when I go in here to set an appointment, I'm going to go. When I click on that that board or that card rather, the board opens up and meeting with the sellers at their home. And I'm gonna put the date of that meeting in here as a due date. That's the 19th. They've called me a nice week and a half in advance. And if you've set it up to do so, you can actually add this to your Google Calendar. So when you set uh, dates or due dates and things that will automatically sync over to your Google Calendar as well. Or I think it still works in Exchange pretty well. I just don't use that. Um, so then I have the 19th, and I'm going to set and say, okay, I want to be reminded two days before, or at least a day before, and I'm going to hit save, and there it is. And so now if I have comments here, um, I've confirmed with sellers where one of two interviews. I hit save. Now, whoever is working on this, if you're a solo agent, none of this matters. But if you're working with a transaction agent, a partner, team members, um, assistant, whatever, these notes can be pretty important to what's going on. So I've set the appointment. That means that's completed. It's got a due date of the 19th, and it's got some other comments and notes here for anybody else who's on your list, or just personal notes for you to keep track of things. I'm going to send in that pre-listing email we talked about earlier. So I already sent that over. That's done. I'm just going to add that here. Take photos of the subject property. I'm going to go do that right now. And then I'm going to Google the home, Google the seller, tax records, and all the rest. And then you can see that it kind of just stacked up. Now, you can do some other cool things with this. You can change the background. So if you want to change it to your client's home to make the visual a little bit easier for you, you can do that. And then that will pop up in a second. 
um, after it loads. I'm on hotel internet, so it's a little sluggish. Um, but I can change the background and make it more easy for me to visualize what board I'm working on and then keep track of things. And so I want to go down here to like follow with a handwritten note. Oh, maybe not handwritten note. Uh, notify reload the appointment was done. Create li listing presentation packet. I want to give myself a due date for that. This is on the 19th. I want to get that done early. So I'm going to say that's on the 17th. And I'm going to create a checklist because I know for these folks, they're relo. And they have a special request. So maybe they want uh, local hospital information because he's a doctor. And school information and set up a dinner appointment. All right, and so then I've got a checklist within this card so that when I finish and get, get that information together, I can just hit, okay, that's done. And again, it reminds me and it reminds whoever else is assigned to this board that that's been done. So that's just a few of the little things that you can do um, uh, on the board. So that's it, that's how I keep track of the pre-listing stuff and making sure I don't forget anything that needs to be done and having a more interactive system, again, especially if you're working with other people, but even for your own uh, sanity, this is a good tool. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you out the best I can. Go check it out. Trillo is amazing, and it's free, and you should be using more of it. Thanks. Have a great day.